How's it going, everybody? Um, so here we go. This is going to begin my breakdown series where I commentate a little bit throughout the match, see how things go, uh, try to get in my head and understand what was happening in this match. Now, I'll go ahead and say out of the gate, this bison is going to be in my head already because I don't, I still haven't really learned where to punish bison just yet, and I'm very tentative. This match is really kind of rough for me, to be honest with you. Um, so a lot of pressure out of the gate keeps me cornered. I get the throw to try to reset the situation. Go for the overhead. He's sliding a lot, and I, I tend not to block it for some reason. Um, I get another throw because he's allowing it, so I'm just going to wait on that to happen. But So now a lot of spacing. He's charging his moves up. I'm not really sure what to do. I get the block on the slide, and I'm confused why medium kick didn't land after that as a punish, but that's okay. Pressure continues. I'm trying to just poke a little bit with my uh, rolling crystal flash. That's a bad slide. It's just a guess, though. I should never really slide against Bison because he's always crouch blocking to charge his next move. I get a good V-trigger, anti-air. Very nice. I try to go for a command throw to end the round, and it just doesn't work out. Cross up wins me the round. Very nice. Converted the cross up into damage. That's that's what we're looking for there. So round two, I know I can throw him. So let's see if that goes down. All right, it's kind of a stalemate to start. He's I'm allowing him to pressure me, which I'm I'm not a fan of that. Okay, I could have converted that into more, but I didn't. That's okay. So back to being pressured. I get a claw switch there just to kind of keep my options open, I guess. Crash and medium punch to roll in. I tried to do it again, hoping he wouldn't block. I drop another combo, and that's frustrating. But that's okay. Try the cross up, get counter hit out of it. That's weird. I'm gonna get thrown here. Yeah. So this corner pressure with Bison's really hard to read. I cannot believe he let me throw him there. I have the upper hand here. If I can just keep him in the corner and not get hit by anything really dumb, and he crosses me up. With that ambiguous cross-up, gets a nice combo, and I just let him out of the corner. I just walk away. Um, trying to get those last few hits. Sweep gets me again. Ah, uh, caught pressing buttons. Final round. So here we go, final round, 1-1. One, one. I go ahead and try to be a little bit more aggressive, and the slide hits again. I don't think I blocked, but maybe one slide this whole game so far, so that's, that's the first problem. There's another slide that hits. Trying to play my game. I don't realize and hit confirm the combo. So that gets dropped. That slide was actually fairly safe. So I'm proud of that one. Oh no. He shouldn't have dropped that. That was full combo. Another anti-air rose. Keeps things going. And then he just wake up critical art. So that's going to finish the game right there. I was jabbing out a medium punch. To s for a meaty attack. And he wakes up with critical art. So anyway. Bison's still a tough matchup for me, so we'll just see how that goes from here on out. I need to learn a better way to handle that, but it's okay. I just let him sweep me too much. On to the next match. So here we go. We got a Ryu. We've got a couple of Ryus in this go around. And uh, they both they both actually fall for the same trick to end around. So watch this, okay? So I'm, I'm waiting for fireballs. I'm just going to be patient. I'm just going to poke it out. Making blocks on my normals. That slot's kind of stupid. Shouldn't have been pressing buttons there, but he drops the combo anyway. So I punish the slide, or I punish the sweep with my with my sweep. Gets a fireball out there. He tried to anti air me, but my jump was shallow enough. I got the hard knockdown off that counter hit. Oh, good parry in the throw. Very nice. But you're pressing buttons on my wake up, homie. So I'm gonna ex. Go ahead and burn the V-Trigger and everything to keep damage at a safe distance. Testing his Barcelona reactions with that one, but I didn't mean to put myself in the corner. I was expecting a DP there. I get the air to air, very nice. Sweet misses so I can punish. I just throw him out of that. I don't even know what it was. I want the anti-air here. I back up because I want him to jump. Eventually, he throws the fireball. I get a light kick. Ends the round. Here we go, round two. I'm sticking out my pokes as always. Pressuring him a lot more. And I should have hit confirm to a command throw, but I didn't. So I blocked the sweep, get the sweep of my own, and then get a command throw. Very nice. Air to air. 
Then I get my combo. Very nice. Okay. DP out of nowhere. I try. I wanted the stuns too bad. Got a little too thirsty there. All right. I'm close to stun here, so I'm, I need to block and back up. Instead, I'm still trying to punish stuff. And there's that parry throw again. Okay. Still pressing buttons on wake up now, so I need to chill that out. He tried to anti-air me again. It looks like we traded, but it was in his favor, I think. Here's where he messes up. I've got V-Trigger. I want him to charge a fireball. So what does he do? He charges a fireball. Just like that. Round's over. Game's over. I win. So anyway, I, I felt like that was okay. I let him get away with a little too much, but here we go. Next match. So as I just said a second ago, this Ryu falls for the exact same trick of his V-Trigger charge uh, to my Rose. And I know people haven't understood it yet, haven't really got a grasp on it. Some players have, but most players haven't. Now here we go. This is interesting right here. This match doesn't really look too good on me, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I play some good footsie games and uh, some good normals and stuff, but I drop a combo there, so that sucks. So he gets a throw on me. I jab him out of whatever he was going to do. Sweeps. Throws me again. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, this guy's going to throw. So, fine. You want to play throw games? And I've got him in the corner. I'm trying to keep pressure. He jumps out. Not looking good right now. I've lost my claw. And I do a stupid slide out of the corner. I do get punished for it, but it should have been, could have been harder. And then that ends the round, so... I cornered myself and I let him out of the corner when I had him, so that was my fault. Here we go, round two. Tried to do a slide at the start, that was dumb, he punished it. He's putting all kinds of pressure on me, there's another throw. A jump in for free, wow, so I'm getting blown up right now on tilt. I get a sweet counter hit and the cross up to push him to the corner. Trying to keep him in that corner, air to air with a light kick. Close to stun, I'll take that throw. I'll take that throw. That's two in a row. I just do a critical arc for safe damage. Does not kill. Didn't expect it to. So I'm going to stay back. Here we go. He's going to charge up a fireball and get rosed. Here it comes. Rose. Alright. Gives me the next round. So here we go. Final game. Final round. Alright. Let's see how this plays out. I tried to air to air. Mine didn't come out. I took the throw realize that I crossed under a little bit. That's throw number one. Throw number two. Here we go. Throw number three. And throw number four. To stun. Boom. Boom. Drop a combo. That's fine. Who needs combos when you got throws that dudes can't block? Right? Try to end with a command throw again. Get woke up DP. I should have uh, rolling crystal flash after that. But anyway, still gets the, the medium kick. It's over. If Vega has V-Trigger, don't charge a fireball. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Moving on. Now we move to a Ken player. So, this is going to be interesting to see. Uh, Ken players are up and down. They're definitely not played the same way you play a Ryu player. Which is good. I like that about this game. So, anyway, here we go. Let's see how this works out. So, slot at the start is not bad. He, he dragon punched, expecting the jump. Didn't work out. I land a few lights on him. Counter hit sweep. Was expecting a DP. Just trying to test the waters here. Get a good throw. Overheads. Medium punches. I've got him a little bit mixed up here. A little bit on tilt. There's the stun. That's what I was looking for. Bang, 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 bang. Good deal. Good conversion. Could have burned a bar. But that's okay. I didn't. It's fine. Stay back. Let him get some fireballs. Wait for the sweep. Do my little sway, punish the fireball again. Cool. Quick and easy. Painless. Round two starts. Another slide. This one hits. Sure you can. Let's punish that. Look at that. Woo! I'm just random DP kids. Oh, command throw now. Oh my gosh. He's wishing he never dragon punched, and then he dragon punched. <laughs> so his stun's gone now, so I'm disappointed about that. He gets a lucky Tatsu. Overhead, very nice. He's gonna overhead again, yep, blocked. Okay, I tried to V-trigger, so that was my fault. Ate another DP. I wanna punish this. 
and it doesn't connect. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. Oh, and then it drops somehow. Weird lag happens there. I get thrown off a cross up. I throw him. Good games. Good games to everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked what you, you saw. Win. And if you like the commentary, hit that like button. Subscribe for me. I'm going to be releasing way more Street Fighter videos. Way more breakdowns. Everybody, you take care of yourselves. And we'll see you next time.